Greetings and salutations, Relax Gamer Nation, and welcome back to Back to Basics again with me, Relax Gamer. Hello, thank you for coming by. So I have a couple of polls up on, on, my, on my community page. Uh, if you could take a moment and just take a look at those polls and just vote on it. I'm, I'm not going to make much changes in this episode from what I did in the last episode with exception to doing shorter recording sessions. Instead of going with a two to three hour recording session, I'm just going to keep it down to about an hour and a half. Um, I'm still going to do barely any editing. Um, now, I've had a whole bunch of comments about the music. Um, again, I want to know, uh, is the music too loud? Is it too distracting? Do you just not like the music? I uh, do want the music gone completely because if the music is gone completely, all we have is environmental sounds and my voice and not all of you might like my voice. So <laughs> just, just a heads up there. Um, it is dark right now. So because we don't have the sleep mod installed, um, I'm just going to <clears throat> advance the day uh, via cheaty way. I don't like doing this, but we're going to do that. Okay, that should be good. That should be good. So now that it's daytime, awesome. <clears throat> we can do some things during the day. Um, so yeah, there's there's some polls. Please, please answer those polls. Uh, please comment. Subscribe if you like this stuff. Don't subscribe if you don't like this stuff. Thumbs up, thumbs down. It's really funny because both these videos, my Back to Basics, the short butchered version and the extended version, both have 12 likes and one dislike. <laughs> Though from views, there's a little more views on the shorter ones. So we're going to try and chop this down. Well, not, we're going to try and record only for it about an hour and a half. And then I'll chop a little bit up there. Um, in addition... I may decide to lower the music even further because as I have it right now um, in DaVinci Resolve, I think I have the music at like negative five or negative 10 or something like that. And it drops the, the decibels of when it goes to my voice by another 10 decibels. So I'm not sure if that's really causing issues or if I need to actually just lower the entire music completely. I know some of you are like, I don't like music. Get rid of the music. I just want to hear you talk. Well, I've done just talking videos and they don't necessarily perform well. They perform okay, but not well. <laughs> and considering my back to basics again, the first episode of this series, uh, it's sitting at on recording, which is, uh, where are we? What date is it? It's Wednesday, September 18th. Uh, it's sitting at 2.3 K views, which is awesome. And like 27 comments, which is even more awesome. So I'm going to stop talking here. Uh, well talk about that stuff here anyway. <laughs> so what are we going to do today? Now that I've wasted freaking what? Six minutes. Probably less than that because I, I was looking over things at the beginning of the video while it was recording. So I probably wasted about four minutes of your time. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Just had to get that out there. <laughs> so we have our little base here. Now I want to, I'm going to keep this base here for now. Um, I might add another piston here to extend this out further or... I might uh, make it wider. So I'll cut off, I'll probably cut off a couple of pistons here. I don't know how I'm gonna, how well that's gonna work. Because I don't wanna cut off the, the head here. Okay. Um, maybe, how do I, I don't know. I'm just going to not deal with that right now. So <clears throat> uh, we have wind, which is good. We have, oh, I got rid of our basic refinery, didn't I? Why did I do that? 
Probably for just stone reasons. Or did I get rid of? No, I did get rid of the basic refinery. Interesting. I don't remember that, but it obviously happened. So, um, okay. <laughs> uh, our batteries are doing okay right now. We are charging. We might want to increase our power system here because the refinery is constantly going right now. Uh, I have not put in the sneaky sounds mod. I haven't put in any other mods that I already put in. There's some mods that I would really like to put in, but I'm just, I'm trying to push myself away from putting in too many mods because console players can't use mods. Oh, it's, 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 it's rough. It's rough without mods. It's, it's rough. <laughs> Okay, so we got that, we got that. Um, can we up the sound a little bit? I think we can, just a little bit. I'm not sure if it's going to come through the video too well. Let's bring it up to that. I'm afraid that when I start drilling, it's going to, like, blow my eardrums out. <laughs> and now, because this is vanilla play, there's really no encounters, except for the uh, trade station encounter over there, and there's some a drone encounters once we get into space uh that's uh that's about it once we get into space i'm looking forward to the new update i don't know when that's gonna drop it's gonna drop on a monday that's all that's as much as i know <laughs> so hopefully it drops on a monday i'm not working which would be next monday that'd be great if it dropped next monday but it probably won't uh, okay 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 Let's, let's get focused. Let's get focused. Okay, what do we need? We need cobalt. We need our raw minerals. We need to get ice. So what we're going to do is I'm going to load this up with uh, some basic materials to get us running here. So give me a moment while I do that and I'll be right back. I'm actually putting in physical cuts here. I'm not actually cutting the video. I'm just pausing the video so hold on okay so i added some materials to our uh our care package if you would i have a refinery i have an assembler i have an o2 generator and i have solar panels some turbines a rotor and some hinges so that's uh, what i'm doing now what am i going to use that for well, we're going to build another base on the ice. And then we're going to work on getting stuff. <laughs> because I want to, by the end of this Back to basic series, ideally earlier than the end, I want to launch off to space. Uh, but what we need to do for that is a whole bunch of ice and we need a ship, a rocket ship. Uh, hydrogen ship so we're gonna that's the plan but we got to get this little base sorted out now sadly i only have our little rover here um i'm thinking i'm going to modify it a bit i'm gonna chop off this rear end and put in a uh a conveyor Sorry, connector. So we got to relocate a few things like our plushie. You need to relocate. We will put you right there. This looks like a good place. Plushie, plushie, plushie. There you are. Plushie right on top of the battery. Uh, they need the antenna to be relocated. Or detector to be relocated and the gyroscope to be relocated so let's relocate those as i go and fling myself again against the ground which is always such a great idea we have some space under here that we can do that so let's let's get our antenna in here I'm just going to keep it this mauve color. 
don't really like putting gyros underneath, so we'll put that on top. Uh, in here, we'll do our ore detector. Because the reason why I don't want to put the gyroscope underneath is because if I have, if I ramp and take off and don't manage to land properly or land a little more dangerously than I intended to, uh, it could break the gyroscope and that would be bad. So we're going to, let's put the gyroscope right behind my head. That sounds like a great idea. Nothing wrong is going to happen there. Nothing whatsoever. <laughs> and you know what? Because um, I'm not entirely certain of my driving. <laughs> I don't have enough deal. going on oh. that's what's going on we're just gonna put guardrails around our uh, gyroscope and uh, Zabaroi buddy <laughs> uh, that won't come back to haunt me no not so not what so not at all okay so uh, next, we need to chop this off, chop that off, chop this off, chop that off, and put in some large conveyors. Or larger conveyors. Or connectors, not conveyors. Now we have some cobalt, so I'm going to upgrade our, our tools. After I get this loaded, build vision, switch log. Okay, cool. So let's get some tools going on here. So let's go to the production. Let's go to tools. And we're going to upgrade all our tools to the next level. Uh, sadly, all of them are at the very bottom. Why did one not get added here? Oh, cool. interesting. So we'll just inch them up. Because I already added stuff to this. Oh, where's my... Let's just go right there. Instead of inching up, I'm just going to click, mouse wheel up, and move to the front of the queue. Click, mouse wheel up, front of the queue. energy is critical apparently man I'd like to find some silver and actually get a full fledged med bay that would be great Oh, I already had an enhanced hand drill. Interesting. Why not using it? Get those in there. Let's drop these. And we have to go to our character tools and put them in here. There is a mod to auto switch this, but I find that uh, it doesn't always work properly. So manually switching and just never, ever, ever losing it is ideal. 
Let's drop our hydrogen bottles in. Get them recharged. Wait, no, I can't drop them in there. I have to go in here because they're too big to fit through there. Cool. Full hydrogen. Yes. Okay. Um, how's our production going? Slow. Um, can I build some speed module? Uh, I could. Let's do that. Because I want this done before next year. One, two, three. Oh, I can't put it there. Okay. Because you got to get rid of that small block stuff. Small steel tubes. Small steel tubes. Okay. So let's go in here and advance our small steel tubes. Because I'm sure a bunch of them are being... In fact, I'm going to make a bunch more. <laughs> you have solar panel stuff being made. Oh, what is going... Oh, no. No, 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 no. That can't be right. No, we're, we're good. We're good. It's just what it's pulling into the thing. Okay. Um, small steel tubes. Thank you. Okay, that should speed up our assembler a bit. This stuff we gotta move. Or get rid of. I think... We're going to get rid of it. Yep. Okay. Um, okay. So we need an O2 generator. Let's just get that. O2 generator. Right there. More small steel tubes. Give me more. Drop those off. Let's grab these. Oh, we have to disconnect this first. Otherwise, it's going to continuously pull. I'm fine. I got enough stuff. I, I made a big battery. So, yeah, we're just going to get rid of this. Okay. Good, good, good. Now, what do we want to put there? We got the O2 generator, which is pulling off of that. We don't have to put anything into there, but we could put it on the speed module. just to get this sped up a little bit more. Okay. That's gonna eat through my power pretty quick, but it should be fine. This is now fully depleted in two hours, so we need more power. We need more power. We could bring that up more or we could build another tower. I think building another tower is better. We 
should actually build these up too. Interior plates and construction components. I'm gonna need more of those. Thousand should be good and yeah. Should be more than enough. Well, this is gonna require motors and small tubes, okay. And interior plates. Okay, so this should be turning. Yes, good. Turning through this stuff fast now. Fast. Uh, we are at 400% uh, speed on this, which is great. Might push it out and... Really probably should make a brand new assembler. I don't want to put it here. You can probably put it under because I'm not going to fit another refinery here. And I think this refine this little base here is I think it's just going to be temporary. It was a good place to start because we got a whole bunch of basic materials. So, yeah. Ow. Nothing like face smashing into the platform. That's always a great thing to do. <laughs> and again. <laughs> Let's do it one more time, shall we? You bugger. I do it one more time. What do you know? I will need a bunch of these, I think. That's just there for looks. That's about it. Okay, I didn't hurt myself that time. Let's fix up my wounds. And so far, we're pretty close to a half hour in, which is not bad, not bad. I think I got a bunch done in a half hour. Uh, thanks to these new tools. That's that's a big help. The next set of new tools requires silver, so we have to find that first. Okay. Well, we did this, we did that. This can be filled up now. With everything. No, no, no. And everything. This should be current ship. This should be what else? Um We can come back and forth to here. So let's just uh put a whole bunch of stuff into our buggy here. Hopefully we won't crash the buggy, because that would be great. I don't... Is that everything? I, I don't think that's everything. I don't... Yeah, I'm... We need more stuff. Here we go. Where are you? Here we go. What is it making? Okay, that's fine. We need we always need construction components and small steel tubes. Forever. 
Um, that might be enough to get us started. Might be enough to get us started over there. That's refining the cobalt. Ideally, getting some yield on here would be great, or efficiency, but I don't have gold, and I need gold for that. Okay, so let's go back over to the thing. Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep it rolling. Hopefully I don't roll. <laughs> uh, you should not press B. I do it way too often, and it can be very dangerous for your health. Or the health of your vehicle, or base, or whatever you're making. Now we have a cliff over here, which we kind of jumped last time. Can we get down here without jumping that cliff? Probably. Maybe. We'll see. Because this is not... Uh, it's not ideal for going over those, uh, these things. Oh, shh. No. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, bugger. Uh -oh. oh, when I broke the connector. And the garden container. I almost broke the connector right off. Okay. Okay. If you find yourself in a situation like this, this is one thing that your gyroscope will help with. Assuming you can do it right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to, I'm going to go, oh, what am I doing? Oh, I am sliding. Uh oh, Don't know if the sliding is good or not good. Here we go. Um, we're gonna take some damage. So we want to go into our gyroscope here and go into override controls. Now I have no idea. Nope, wrong way. And do that. That turned out a lot better than I expected. <laughs> a lot better than I expected. I gotta fix up that connector, but that shouldn't be, be, be too bad because I have the parts. Now, uh, what do we need the most here? We have everything in the area. Now, cobalt's gonna take a while to refine. A magnesium we don't really know until we start going on the offensive on certain things. Uh, we have gold, which would be good. Silicon magnesium, we have iron, which is FE. I don't know where the most optimal location would be. I think we should go over to cobalt and we'll do some some shenanigans to do some iron mining when we need it because we got uh, gold over there too so maybe we'll create a mining ship uh, but for the cobalt I think we're going to need to actually do some mining set up a mining rig Although I have no idea how spread out the cobalt's going to be. I don't know how thin the vein's going to be. Usually they're pretty thin, which kind of sucks. The best place for mining is in space. If you can find the resource. That's the problem, is finding that resource. Because the, the ore detector really sucks. Unless you've modded it. We have iron over here too. OK, 
Okay, that's good. So cobalt is our primary need. Iron is, well, iron's a primary need too, but let's find a good shallow cobalt depth. 25.7 by the looks of it. We got 24 meters over there. Let's engage park. Let's fix up our connector here. This is going to eat into our, our resources a little bit, but thankfully, thanks to these little rails that I preemptively put on because I know how bad my driving can be. Um, my gyroscope didn't get destroyed. <laughs> so yeah. Range. Yeah, 50 meters sucks. But that is fine for now. Okay. Um, I'm going to get the basic platform set up here and I will be back in just a moment. Okay, so I have our basic platform here. Okay, maybe it's not really basic. I kind of, it's all interior plates and it's surrounded by these, uh, what are these called again? Light armor slopes. So yeah, maybe it's not super basic. I could put in a light armor slope there, but right now it's fine. So the idea with this is that we are going to drill. Yeah, I know, super crazy, right? But not manually, <laughs> because that would be even more super crazy. Uh, we are going to build a, a basic drill rig. Now, ideally I'd like to do, I'd like to use some of the automation stuff to do this, but the last time I tried that, it didn't work out too well for me. It, it really did not, it kind of really, was bad and sucked and I misinterpreted things and this and that, and it's going to require a lot of blocks and automation. And I'm just not feeling it right now. <laughs> so we're going to do something very, very basic. Uh, so right here, actually I should have expended this out one more because I don't like having even sides. Yeah. So we're going to expand this out one more so that we have an odd center. And it's even over there too. So we're going to have an odd odd center. I should have thought about that before, but you know, it happens. These can go because we're just going to keep on going, expanding and stuff. So, okay. So we are currently at a eight, right? No, we're at nine. So we need one more block here. And we got this block here. And now we're just gonna do what we already did. And we're just gonna surround this with half slopes. That should give us an odd center, which is what I want. Is that something you don't want in Space Engineers is even, because even can really screw you up. Um, because most blocks are odd. So like our car containers are like three by threes. Uh, these blocks are three by threes. Uh, the battery are three by three by two. Yeah. So try and keep things to an odd number, usually in threes. 
if you can manage it. Now there are alternatives or options for say, if you're building Rover that you just want to have a basic two player, uh, two, two player Rover where you can do an even block setup. It just, things won't line up properly if you plan on carrying cargo. Uh, you, but instead of going two, you could go five, then this would still line up well. And you'd be able to put like uh, a seat here, a seat there, and like maybe a console of some sort down the middle. But that's no, neither here nor there. That was just an, a, a, a thought, an option, a uh, think um, stuff. So let us find our center. Let's get our conveyor in here. Uh, we're going to go with, uh, we'll just go with conveyor junction. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. So this is our center. Let's put a car container there instead. Ooh, I don't think I brought parts for a car container. Fine. That is fine. We will figure it out. Um. I don't want to do that. There's no, no signal coming down. I'm not too concerned about that right now. How do we want to do this? Okay, we have that. Let's put another car container here. Um, no, I just have to look at something here. Um, right, okay, so we can put our assembler here, or maybe we'll do it over here. Oh, no, that's going to interfere with things. So instead of a car container, we'll do a conveyor, another conveyor, then we'll put in our assembler. And refinery, we will go with the industrial refinery, the DLC refinery. It has same ports, just laid out differently. And we want to bring this down one and out one, like so. It's a conveyor port, so we will put in our car container here. Fine. So now we can go up the steps and cross over to our stumbler here. Not that that matters. It's just for aesthetics. <clears throat> we'll get our conveyor curves because I like them. Should I put a rotor in here? No. No, we're not going to put a rotor here. We're going to put a rotor central. So this will just be block. Okay. Now we need some power. So let's go to the other side of our thing here. And put the things down, oh, tear the things up that we put down, because that's how it goes. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I am. Whoa. I'm going a little too fast here. We are going to put a wind turbine over here. And just for static purposes, we are going to do this. We don't need to transfer. This is just for some aesthetics. Aesthetics. Three, four, five, six. And then do a cross. Across like that. 
and one more. Turbines. Put a turbine here. Then we'll put a turbine there and a turbine here. Uh, we also need a battery over here. Again, things that we didn't bring parts for. <laughs> Figures, right? That is our cobalt hole over there. Okay. I think we brought all the parts for this. Yes, yes, we did. But unfortunately, there's no place for this power to go right now. So let's put down a battery. Don't have the parts for battery. Ourselves, I do not have. But we have this. Where do we want to put the battery? Let's just put the battery right there. We'll go back and grab some power cells. And apparently we're out of computers too. So we obviously didn't come with enough stuff. We need more steel plates too, by the looks of it, and computers. How did we not? computers that's that doesn't make any sense i was sure i queued up everything but i guess not okay figure that right click right click right click i didn't use any computers over there did i did these use computers no battery use computers but we wouldn't have been i wouldn't have had enough computers to begin with See if we can get some more of these built up. Computers, motors. Okay, let's just clear these up and we'll add fresh. You can only have six things in the build planner at a time. Now, I'm not going to be able to carry all that stuff. Um, ideally, I'd like to build something that I can actually cross the terrain with. That doesn't require wheels. full hydrogen and stuff so let's go do, 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 do. i'm gonna quickly go to the base i'm gonna do a bunch of back and forth runs and i'll be back in a moment and we are back we got the stuff I don't think I paused the video. I might have. I'm not sure. Cool, cool. We have battery. We have cargo containers. We have an O2H2 generator because this is going to be needed. Uh, another thing that we're going to need to do is start stockpiling hydrogen. 
Uh, before I even start drilling here, I want to get the necessary infrastructure in place. Um, right. So we need some tanks. And I am not going to go with tiny tanks. No, no, no. I am going to go with not tiny tanks. Also known as not tiny tanks. <laughs> no, no, no. They're large tanks. And I think I kind of don't want them too close to these other items. So I think I will... Bring this out. What am I doing? Two, one, control two. There we go. What? What? Don't. Okay. Scroll over. We're gonna bring our tanks out to about year about. Why am I putting down that? I need to. I need some pipes. Um. Yeah, I need some pipes. So let's put a pipe down. I'm just going to put down a regular conveyor here. I'm going to delete these and redo them. Good. Go for our conveyor tubes. Go like this. Okay, that's reconnected. Put a corner in there. Yeah, I'll put a corner in there. And we'll put a regular one here. My energy is low, as you might have heard. I can go right underneath. Yeah. That'll work better. Put that under there. Like so. That. That. And that is connected. We just need the parts. And I'm going to have to get in here and... No. Dumb, dumb. Yeah, I don't have the parts for this. That's fine. I didn't think I would. Okay, so out there, we're going to put that stuff down. Let's just get things um, penciled in here. So we're going to come out to... Yeah, two. One, two, two, and two. I don't know, two, three, not one, two. Uh, what do we got here? So we have. Okay. G Hydro. That will go there. That will go. 
could have done two. That's fine. That will go there. And this one needs to go out. Okay. And we're gonna need to stockpile some oxygen too, though it's not as needed. Uh, we're gonna have to put in a whole bunch of extra oxygen uh, O2H2 generators. Oxygen in here. Two oxygen. That's penciled in or wire framed in, if you would. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, before I want to get my drill sorted out, I want to get at least one more oxygen uh, O2H generator. And... Yeah, then we can get our drill, drill rig sorted. I'm just going to go with a basic um, rotor rig. So it's going to be built up to about... How far are we going down? We're going down 27, let's say 30, let's say 40, four pistons. So we need two pistons there and six pistons there. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of pistons. Now, what I should have done here is I should have modified my day-night cycle, which I think I will do for the next one. But for now, I'm just going to fast forward, fast forward the night eventually here once I charge up. I'll fast forward the night because it's a lot easier to do this stuff in the light. And I'll be back in a jiffy. And we're back. Um, I did a bunch of running back and forth to the base to pick up materials. So what I got here is I got the oxygen generator fully set up. I have the piping that goes all the way to uh, this hydrogen tank and under here to this oxygen tank. So at least we're gathering some of the oxygen. Uh, now that we've got that sorted out, we can actually start working on our arm. Now the arm's going to require, typically I like to do two pistons up and about four or five pistons down. Uh, because we're at, six, at uh, 24 meters, let's say 30 meters, we'll do two pistons up and six pistons down. That's going to be a lot of materials. In fact, we will not need this. Because we're going to have a pistons there. No, oh, I don't have any steel plate. What do you say? Oh, look, steel plate. Imagine that. Eventually, I'll build some stairs that go up here. But for now, one, two. And we want to bring it center. And we're going to do a rotor a piston here. So it's going to span this, this length and just keep on going around and around and around and listen to my voice. You need to hit that like and subscribe button. 
stuff, you know? <laughs> yeah, I know. Ah, uh, okay, so let us get this sorted. We got that. We don't need to do any horizontal pistons because we're not going out any further than this. We're just digging down in this circle. Let's see here. That. Uh, where is the center? Center is right here, so we need to come out three blocks. One, two, three. Too much. That should be good. And like that. Then we put on a piston here. Oh, no, no, no. I almost made a mistake. We put on an advanced rotor here first. So, actually, no. Now let's put the rotor at the end. We'll do piston, piston, piston. Um, I can't go down any further right now because I need to bring those pistons up, which means I need to get these pistons all built up. So we can do that. Let's run back to the base, grab the materials we need, queue up materials that we need, then come back, fix those up, extend those. Yes, okay. So I'm gonna head back to the base here. Um, I guess I'll be back in a moment. <laughs> okay, we got the material we have up to get those two pistons sorted out at the very least. This is going to be a static piston. Uh, that's going to move this. We're going to set to share Nursa. This share Nursa and Nursha. Inertia. Why do we keep on saying inertia? It's inertia. <laughs> okay. Let's reverse. And reverse. Okay, that should give me plenty of room to put in those extra pistons. Six might be too much. No, it should be fine. This should be fine because yeah, this should be fine. Inner sha, not inner sa. That is four. That is five. That is five. That is six. Oh no, we're not gonna be able to do that. I don't think we can do six. I guess five is all we're going to get here. That's fine. Because I still need to put on the rotor here. And I need to put in the drills. The drills are going to take a lot of material. It could just go like this for now. just material right that should be fine Oof. Wait. 
Yeah. Now you're probably wondering, why are you still doing this by hand? That's a really good question. Why am I still doing this by hand? Because I am. There's no reason for it. I should just, you know, go and build a little welding ship. And then load it up with stuff and then come over and weld this up. You know what? That's probably a great idea. This is going to take too long. <laughs> so let's see here. What's our timing like? Okay, we've done about an hour and 10 recording, give or take. So that gives me 20 minutes to build a um, little welder ship. Uh, might be pushing it, but we'll see. We'll see. So let me uh, set up the frame here. Not going to base it off of that. We're going to hook it up over here. Like so. I don't have enough materials at the base. I don't know if I have enough iron. That's a... Uh, that's a concern. Ooh, yeah. Okay. A uh, new plan. <laughs> Let's rip this down. <laughs> That's what you gotta do. That's what you gotta do in Space Engineers is change your plans regularly. We have enough material to hook up some large drills here. Want to make it wider as well. Here comes the thingy. Come on. I know you have a really peculiar hitbox. drop off um okay like you said new plan It's going to be temporary, then we'll be ripping these down. Fine. This will bring us in a fair amount of uh, basics. Really? 
See, this is why I didn't use large drills, because they have a lot of materials that you need in them. steel plates. There's two. Okay, we just need steel plates now. Okay, I'll bring you right, right back. I gotta wait a while for these materials to finish up. Okay, let us get some more materials. Let's get some more materials, shall we? Drills on. This should be on Share Nurse of Tensor. Yes, okay, good. And. That should get us quite a few of basic materials. Ogre. Oh. This is as far as it went. <laughs> okay. It's fine. Gotta tear these down. And do it over and over and over again. I'm gonna get three pistons on here. So it should go in pretty deep. This should give me enough for just one more piston by the looks of it. Did that go all the way? Yes, yes it did. One more piston? Yeah, one more piston. Dang it. Okay. It's going to take a while. I'll be right back. Alrighty. Oh, shoot. Um, let's turn the drills on. Drills. These. Thank you. <laughs> that could have been bad. So... I have changed my block color again. As you may have noticed, I am now blue. <laughs> Just felt like it. And we're getting a lot of stone, which is great. Now, while that is doing its stone thingy, let's top up our parts. Uh, let us... And then, there we go. And the construction components. Great. Always something. So we are going to, since we're getting a lot of iron stuff, let us get some of those, get some of those, get some of those, some of those, some of those. Some of those. Okay. That's probably way too many of those. Okay, that should be good for now. We have steel. Let's get a bunch of steel in our inventory. Construction. Some interior. Okay. Let us get our flying thing built up here i'm gonna do that let's just go down don't want to accidentally break it off 
I'm wasting a bunch of iron by putting in plates, but whatever. Now that I'm not stretched for iron or stressed for iron or whatever, I can I can play around with extra using of it. Now let's get mm. Wow, that's the only thing holding it in place. Oh, and I put those stills down. Okay, we're good, we're good. Um, I would like to charge this as I go. That I don't have to wait forever for it to finish charging. Need an advanced rotor, let's just put a regular rotor in. Take that off, add a small head. Let's rotor lock that so it doesn't move. Rotor lock. And we'll share nurse tents too. That should give us the basic building blocks we need for what we need to do next. One, two, blah, 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 blah. I have like no motors. I should probably fix that. Production. Let's get some motors and pre pre it. Okay. Switch lock. Good, good, good. Now, we are going to put in some large cargo containers. These type of cargo containers are really odd because one side is like one by three. So one, two, and three. So we're gonna put that on the, what are you, what are you doing, what are you doing? No, I didn't want that. We're going to put the three on the top. Hold on. Let's do. Like so. Okay. I'm just going to do one cargo container because that's a lot. Okay, and we're going to put a battery underneath, I guess. Why not? Sure. Wait, could I? No, I'm, I'm just going to... Uh, actually, instead of a battery... Let's put a bottom connector on here just in case I want to make use of a bottom dock. Battery, battery. Actually, battery. What is, why does it keep on switching my block? 
That's annoying. Whoa. Oops. Okay, those will charge up. Good, good. These look like they're not they're moving slow. Tim. It's not bad. These pistons are done. Come on back. What are you doing, RG? I am setting up another turbine. <laughs> Girders. Oh. Girders and interior plates. I guess I could have brought that up one more. I'll sort it out later. New workers. I actually should get another assembler going. need to get some more ice. Oh, no, I'm good. I got 6.96k right now, which is fine. So, okay. Well, I'm going to cut here. I'm going to end the episode here. Um, please feel free to come back next time if you really enjoy this. Uh, again, the polls are ready for anybody to uh, vote on it'll help me out immensely to figure out how i want to do this and uh for this video i'm going to make it long and i'm going to keep it long and loud but i'm going to lower the loudness a bit uh but it's still going to be the long one and a half hours ish whatever 
Anyway, uh, thank you very much for getting this far. Uh, if you got this far, put something in the comments. Put a poop emoji. Put a thumbs up emoji. Do the pride flag. Do the non-pride flag. Whatever that is. And uh, I will see you guys in the next time. Ciao.